Today we're going to be doing some testing. What difference does a quick spool valve really make? What horsepower differences can a quick spool valve make? What kind of extra power do we get under the curve? Control methods for the test, 8.5 mil pump, set 150 cc max. The wastegate is capped. You do need a wastegate on things that are smaller than S300s though, so don't think that you don't need a wastegate on your turbo because you really do. First test, turbo only, no quick spool valve connected. So quick spool valve, vein open, so it can't aid the turbo to spool up. Second test, turbo only, with quick spool valve working. This is S300 only, power with an S300. Not really ideal. Your power's sort of coming in real late. That's, that's 4,000 revs. So your power peak is 5,000, whatever. You're starting to defuel your pump by that point. So that's S300 on its own with no help, no quick spool valve, no supercharger, no nothing. Right, look at this. That is the difference between quick spool valve and no quick spool valve on an S300. That is the difference. So the people that say, doesn't make a difference, doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. That is the difference right there. And notice also that the power is higher. And they're going to, well, that doesn't even make any sense. Yes, it does. It does make sense because the turbo was so laggy and so late that the, t the pump was starting to pull the fuel back. It was getting to the end of its rev range, so it didn't get to make its full potential. Yes, under load on a retarded, might be the same because it is the same. Look at that, that is a big difference. Let's use 200 horsepower an example with the quick spool valve at 4,100 revs. Still pretty bad, but it's a lot better than at 4,600 revs. Wow. 500 RPM difference in spool time to 200 horse. That's a massive difference. So that's the difference between your quick spool valve. <laughs> 